Yo, what's up guys? Everybody on Diary of the Dark, massive shout out. Uh, big shout out to all the new members, um, thank you for joining once again. So it's Kaz Van D and I'm back with my new figures. Um, so I wanted to record this video guys, basically before we move, which the big move is on Saturday. So uh, I'm going to be offline for a couple of weeks basically while the telephone exchange swaps over, you know, um, and uh, we get the internet back up and running. So this might be the last video for a while. Um, but before I moved, I just wanted to show you the new figures that I got at a fantastic deal. Um, always trolling eBay, good old eBay. So I'll start off with what I think is one of the best films, and that is House of a Thousand Corpses. Um, it's just absolutely fantastic. I love that movie. Um, big fan of Baby, of course, and Otis, Dr. Spaulding, Madam Butterfly, Tiny, you know, um, Dr. Satan, The Professor, everything. It's just an awesome film. And it's got the girl, I don't know what her cast name is, but she was in The L Word as Dana. So you see her when she's younger, um, which was awesome seeing her in a horror film. So House of a Thousand Corpses. And it is also my screensaver. As you guys can see there. So there we have Otis, Balding, Tiny, Baby and Madam Butterfly. So that's that guys. So I'm going to show you to start off with. Otis, House of a Thousand Corpses. So there we have Otis with his ritual makeup on, looking pretty groovy. He comes with his book and lantern. And I'll just move it back so you guys get the full image there. So I'll be keeping these boxed for a while. Um, I got all three of them. I'll just show you the back there. Um, series one. And it was a bargain from eBay roughly with postage maybe nine ten pounds so you know i think i got myself a good deal there love otis i love his character um i really enjoyed him in house of a thousand corpses and i love him in the devil's rejects as well um you know it's, it's really cool so these are probably going to be going on the wall in the new place um And then we have, of course, Dr. Satan, which is awesome. He comes there with his mask and his gas tank. Looks a little bit like my sleep apnea equipment. <laughs> um, and uh, also all of his instruments, all of his medical tools, everything there. There's just like tons of them. So series one as well and like the other one the same with the back you can see those guys on the back there um it's really cool i like the front there where you can put all of his instruments and stuff so he's gonna look pretty cool i'm gonna put him up on the wall as well and i'm just waiting now on this edition of captain spaulding so he's due to be coming through the post. And then the only other one that I want really from series one is Baby. Um, when I get some more money. And, uh, you know, because she's going like for about, oh, she is there. You get a little card in it as well. I think she's about 40 quid and stuff. And these, like I said, these were like under 10 quid or around, you know, around that kind of figure. So, you know, that's really sweet. Um, I'd like to collect the ones from the Devil's Rejects as well. I've got Spaulding, 
from the Devil's Rejects and I've got the Bloody Showdown trilogy of Baby Otis and Captain Spaulding. But um, the other figures from uh, that series would be cool to get hold of at some point. So I'm just showing all you guys these figures basically before I get them boxed up, ready for the move. Um, when I move into the new place and I, you know, I've got it how I want and everything, um, I'll probably make a, a room tour uh, and an update video as well. Um, I've got to give a massive big shout out to Rez. Check it out, dudes. Um, Rez has been a really good buddy of mine for like the past year. He's just sent over an awesome parcel, which I'll do on a separate video. A massive thank you video to Rez and Kathy there. Um, big shout out to Justin. All right, dudes, I hope you enjoyed the horror fest that you've been to. Um, a big shout out for Welshy Boy. Be good to have you back online soon when you you know, feel like it. And also to my bud, Laura, who's joined the site recently. And she's an awesome girl. So, you know, you guys uh, should start messaging her. And, um, you know, everybody else, Rick and like Max, Max Joker, um, bought some stuff off him recently that I'm just waiting on. So I'll do a video of that. Um, big shout out, Max, thank you. And Carl, my South African buddy, and obviously Helen, and everybody else, Jodie, uh, Becky, everyone else on there, people I haven't mentioned, you know, big shout out to you guys. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have this site running. So, you know, that's great. Moving on then, is um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, this is from the remake, I believe. Uh, the movie Maniacs, Sheriff Hoyt. So there he is there. I'll move that back a bit. You guys can see. Um, I got these, there's four figures I got from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Two leather faces, this one and Erin. Picked them up, dude, for a sweet £40 with postage. And they turned out to be like a tenner each. Which is crazy shit, because this dude's worth like 50 to 60 quid. I was looking on Amazon, eBay, um, trolling other websites as well. And he's going for round about that box. So I'm really chuffed with that. Um, and on the back there, it shows you, you what it's like out with the box. And the other collectible figures that you can get. And just tells you a bit about the, the movie. So, I know some of you guys prefer the original. Each of their own at the end of the day. Uh, I do love the original. Um, it's pretty creepy, but I also appreciate the remake. So I'm kind of on the fence with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I might be swayed slightly towards the remake. Um, but that's only because, as you guys know, I prefer really my modern horrors. So, the Sheriff Point there. Moving on, we have the legend of Leatherface. That is just awesome. If you see the detail there on his face and everything. He got the chainsaw, you know, um, which is all like fucked up, all bloody and everything, if you can sort of see there. Um, he also comes in a 12 inch figure as well, uh, which I have. And I have the Movie Maniacs, the old school ones of Leatherface 2. Um, so that's really cool. And as you can see on the back, that's what it would look like out of the box. Him coming through that door there, which is a brilliant scene. <laughs> I love it and it just goes fucking mental. So that's really cool. I wasn't really a big fan of um, Next Generation and uh, you know second, third one really. I think it they should have left it with the first one and possibly the remake, you know. But uh, at the end of the day, he's still an awesome, freaky, cool guy, and I wouldn't mind making a custom figure of Leatherface. Um, you know that might be coming up in the future, so watch out for that. And we're getting there, guys. The next one, obviously, is Erin. So I love that. I love Erin. She's top. Um, 
again, it's a bit about the movie and stuff on the back there. Uh, another movie maniacs figure. Um, you can see Erin there as it would be if she was set up. Again, she's about 60 quid too. Um, forgot to mention Leatherface is going for about 40, 30, 40 quid. She's about 50, 60, um, depending on if it's like an American import or British. Um, so, they, like I said, these were just awesome deals um, that I found on eBay. So they'll be staying in boxes too. And the only one that I will need then will be that guy there. So, you know, when I've got a bit more money coming in, I'll have a look out for him. Um, last but not least is my lovely moving in presents from Sister Helen Johnson. And that is the amazing Friday the 13th, 25th anniversary box set. Now, I've been after this for a while, guys, and it's just fucking awesome. And uh, I did pick it and choose it and then was like, you know, it's 25 quid, you have to pay for it. <laughs> but I did uh, get a Smallville season 9 and 10, and she's like really into that. So that finishes off her collection there. And uh, that was my little, you know, moving in present for her. And uh, this is obviously mine. So you've got Jason's mother there. I'll just show you guys how big it is, sort of from there. So it's a really cool box set, 25th anniversary edition. And like I said, you've got Jason's mum and then Jason as he was in the uh, Jason, the second one, where he just gets the sack, um, like, and put, you know, on his head there. But you've got a changeable head there as well, um, which is him all, like, scarred and fucked up, like, you know, behind the mask and everything. Um, it's also got, like, you know, the um, shrine and that to his mum. And I think it's in part two when he's going to kill that girl and she uh, puts on his mum's jumper and then starts, like, talking to him as if it's his mum and he's, like, confused and thinking, is it his mum or, you know, was about to kill this girl and everything. And and uh, that's really fucked up and crazy. So I was also thinking as well at some point, I wouldn't mind doing, like, my take on this, basically. My version of Jason and um, Jason's mother. Like, I think, you know, a lot of people tend to do Mike Myers, Jason, Freddy, things like that with custom figures and stuff. But I think it'll be interesting to do his mum, you know, and uh, maybe an interchangeable head for her too. So you can see the, the shrine in there with uh, her dead head on that he like, you know, is kept and everything. And it shows you on the back there, the 25th anniversary edition which is really cool. So this will be staying boxed also for quite some time. Um, until basically it gets to the point where I'm like, no, we've got to bring it out of the box. So I don't know, I probably won't even end up selling any of my figures, so I don't see the point really of keeping them boxed. Um, so that's it guys. Anyway, that's the figure update. March 2012 and this is Kaz Van D, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll probably do some DVD reviews soon, and I'm looking forward to making some more custom figures. There'll be a competition coming up over the summer um, to win a custom figure, massive cinema poster of I Know What You Did Last Summer, along with some other teasing goodies. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and just keep rocking and uh, supporting Diary of the Dark. So cheers and I'll catch you guys soon.